Hey guys, Josh here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the uh, Friday's charity shop haul from when I went over to see Lex in Wales. I spent under £40, about 37-ish quid, on two bagfuls of stuff, so let's get going. It's mostly glass and pottery, if that's not your thing, I'm sorry. There'll be a better haul with other stuff on, the, uh, on uh, Sunday, so stay tuned for that. But lots of pottery, lots of glass, which is my best-selling things. Um, I love them to bits, so I keep picking them up. Let's get started with some glassware. Best profit item were these two Bohemian Crystal pinwheel wine glasses. They have a nice ring, uh, a nice cut base, and obviously the Bohemian star on them. These are selling on eBay for 10 to 20 pounds, depending on the size. I think I'll get about 14 pounds each, plus postage for each one of them. Two for one pound 50, bargain. I got three of these wine glasses, Cut base, cut side, and a controlled bubble in the center. Haven't found who makes them yet, but generally not a lot of people put this cross on the base, so I should be able to find it. Uh, I got three of them. I'm thinking about £20 list value for £2. Not too bad. Glass chicken. I, I love egg cups. I pick them up all the time if they're 50p. I've sold this one before in blue. It's French. There is a French stamp under here. It sells for between three and four pounds plus postage. Um, I've got this one on auction for three ninety nine at the moment. Monkey pod wood nibble dish uh, made in the Philippines on auction at the moment. I've got this at nine ninety nine plus postage. They sell for between ten and twenty pounds depending on the size and the style. This one's quite a generic style, so just ten pounds is all I can get on that one. Only last week I was researching Moira, Moira Stoneware, vintage, sturdy, strong kitchenware. And I found some for the first time in three years, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, it's just a, a canister. The rubber on these lids does perish, and you can buy replacements on eBay. Just an FYI if anyone else has an issue with perished uh, rubber lids. £1.50 into about 14-ish plus post. Really strong, sturdy stuff, and has a collecting following. Some recycled glass, green, uh, recycled green glass creamer. Uh, it's described as recycled glass. I don't know if it actually is, but everyone else says it's recycled glass. It's hand blown and you can tell because you can just see up here, there's like lines. Actually, if I do my finger there, you can see on the reflection. Um, there's lines on the glass. That means it's generally been hand blown and hand stretched and all that fun stuff, I believe. Don't hold me on that. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's what I've always believed, and that's what eBay lists it as. Uh, paid a pound, I'll list that for about tenner. Next. More Limoges. For two pounds, I got three smaller ones and one large plate. The three smaller ones are on auction at the moment for £7.99. I'm trying to do some more auctions. £7.99 plus poach. That's about as much as I can get for them. The larger plate, I would get about £6.99 plus post for Maybe more if it's a special colour or the uh, print on the back is older, the stamp on the back is older. I think this is just a generic one, so maybe about six to ten. Probably six. Next, a big box of vintage buttons. I've never picked up buttons before. But a nice mix of vintage buttons. There's a few military looking ones in there that I might take out and sell separately. But it's just your general vintage 80s, 90s style looking buttons. Um, yeah, just sell them as like probably in the box, 800 grams or so for 10 to 20 quid. I'm not sure. I've never picked up buttons, but I think people like to buy them for arts and crafts. So I might just do it as a vintage arts and craft button lot for 10 quid. Only paid £1.50, but to me that was a bit of an easy flip, easy profit. A very nice pottery flower frog, which is the official terminology for kind of like a pottery vase with multiple holes. It's called a flower frog. There is a mark on the back. It looks like Somerset to me. Summer, Somerset, and then there's a dragonfly, dragonfly stamp here. Um, I'm in a few pottery groups on Facebook they will just tell me who makes it. You send a picture of the top, the side, and the base with the stamp, and they just say it's so-and-so pottery, and it really helps uh, value this. I paid £2 just because I really quite liked it. I'm going to aim for about 
12 to 15 on that one. I've sold a few flower frogs before. 12 to 15 is the comfortable spot for them. Next, the first of two. I've got two things in this paint style. So it's obviously by the same person. No markings on the pottery as I can see. But again, the pottery groups will be able to tell me who exactly makes it. It's just like a little trinket ball. Little, um, you know, pot for a dresser or a vanity or something. £1.50. Again, I... I do find it funny when charity shops put £1.50 in the lid and £1.50 in the bottom. I only paid £1.50, but I do find it funny how they sometimes split things up like that. Uh, yeah, maybe a tanner. Not overly too sure. I haven't done any research because I don't know who makes it. But I'm thinking about a tanner. It's a nice little thing. And then I'll do the other one. It's quite mucky, but again, the same paint style on it. This one is sort of like a trinket box. So it has some sort of nice detail here, and it's lidded. I'm tempted to sell them as a set, but the difference of shape tells me that I should probably sell them separately in the sizing. So I paid two pounds for this one. Again, no markings from what I can see, uh, but I'm sure someone will be able to identify that for me. It's just a nice little painted thing, really. At least a tenner each. Next, a little old guy smoking a pipe. No mark on the bottom, it's nothing fancy. I paid 10p, it was on sale clearance for 10p. You know it's a good charity shop when they clearance stuff for 10p. It's just to get it gone. And for 10p, why on earth would you not buy it to see if it is worth anything? It's only 10p. I will probably list this guy on auction for about 3 99 because I don't know who he is, there's no markings. I would do a Google image search. If nothing pops up, Three ninety nine on auction. If he sells, great. If he doesn't, he'll go probably to a car boot or charity shop. No problem. Another flower frog. I believe this is still a flower frog because of the shape. But it only has one hole. I paid £2. I only got it because of the shape and the fact it only has one hole. I've not seen one like this for a while. I've never sold one, but I would quite like to sell one. Uh, it has a etching on the base here so again i'll be able to identify it and pottery i sell again for between 12 and 15 pounds 10 to 12 it's just a nice comfortable easy pricing for them i have sold these before and some of you might remember me selling these they are phoenix berry bowls i sold the last two for 7.99 i paid a pound for the two of them again not big profit but when you've sold something before you're more likely to pick up a second time I was surprised to see a bit of Jersey pottery on sale for 50p. Uh, again, 10 to 12, maybe a little bit less because it's Jersey. Jersey is generally more, I wouldn't say mass produced, but I think a lot more people have this. It's more freely available because Jersey pottery is quite a bigger pottery. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. There's more of it, so it's the value is less. Next, I have this issue where I go into a charity shop and if I buy one thing, and it's like a pound. I feel quite bad using a credit card because obviously the charity gets charged per transaction. So I try and bulk it up a little bit. And I was humming and ahhing. There wasn't really anything. I did spot this for 2 99 Now, it's, it looks a lot like Silvac, but it's not. It's Crown Devon. It's not going to make me a millionaire. I'll sell it for about £10. But, again... Does anyone else feel bad when you go into a charity shop and use a credit card for like a one pound item? Some charity shops don't let you, I know that, but I just feel bad and I don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't, but yeah, I always try and bulk out to at least four or so pounds and that about a tenner, so not overly bad. I can't leave that there, let's put that over here. We're almost done. For one pound, a pottery vase, mark on the bottom. Again, I always pick up if it's marked. Small little bud vase brown with white flowers 10 ish quid haven't had a studio pottery mug in a while I, there is markings on the bottom can't read it because uh, ymca has stuck their sticker over it but it's probably going to be the name of who painted it rather than who produced the the mug a weird handle i can't fit two things in there well, i just what i can i don't think you would use it to drink maybe i don't know this screams bargeware to me. 
it just screams that like boating bargeware country cottage kind of vibe um i paid a pound i'll probably sell it for about 15 quid i'm hoping it's quite a nice shape as well and it's heavy based which to me also says boat because you want it to be heavy i believe maybe we'll see for a pound, a Peter Pan Great Ormond Street Hospital money bank. No idea. I haven't looked this one up yet, but for a quid, you might as well give it a go. Um, Peter Pan's collectible, and it's... Uh, gosh. Now, for 20p, I got this little little lady. I got someone else in, in the next hall you'll see, which I keep... I keep I'm trying to look for uh, Hummel. Hummel figures of the German children. Um... This one is not it. This one is a Japanese imitation. And I can tell she's Japanese straight away. I, at the time I didn't realise. Because of her eyelashes. Sounds crazy. But Japanese imitation figures generally have really excessive eyelashes. Um, you'll see it quite a lot on Japanese animals, for example. They always have really long eyelashes. So to me, she is a Jap Japanese uh, imitation of Hummel. And I don't think you'll be able to see her eyelashes too well, but you can kind of see they're just really long and not human-like. Uh, for 20p, I will try and sell it for a couple of quid. Again, it's like that older gentleman figure, three ninety nine on auction. If she's not worth anything, back to the charity shop. Only 20p, not a lot of money lost. The last three things. Um, for 20p and 20p, a Kingfisher plate and... Jug. The jug is chipped slightly on the handle. I don't know if it's worth anything. The plate might sell for a couple of quid, but again, 40p just to see. Um, yeah, just to see, really. And the last thing. Yes, the last thing. Not the last thing. Almost last thing. How could I forget the best thing? <laughs> the almost last thing was this pottery chalice for 99p. I have just noticed there's a yin and yang marking here, so that's a pottery mark. I've sold one of these before for about £12. People turn them into planters. They put a little plant in the top, like a spider plant. It's the perfect size for the pot, and it just, you know, hangs over. It's like a raised planter. People reuse these for all sorts. 99p, 10 quid. And then the second best buy of the day was this bamboo magazine rack. Like a radiator effect, it reminds me of. But like a nice circular one. I paid £2 for that. £2. Bargain. I've got it up on auction for, I think, 15 at the minute or 20 That's probably the most I'll get for it, 15 or 20 quid. But wasn't going to leave that behind for £2. Love it. So, yeah, that was everything. Hope you all enjoyed that. A few... Different things I've not picked up before, but again, mostly pottery, mostly glass. I can't help myself. I just fall in love with the stuff. 